Hey, good morning. Welcome for X Traders. Welcome to my live day trading room. This is where I day trade. And I got my finger on the trigger this morning. It's uh, 2 uh, February 2021, 1.41 a.m., 41 minutes into the uh, London session. I got here my equity curve sitting in the drawdown, blah, 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 blah. Work my way out of the drawdown. It's going to be a slow grind. But if you're interested in these trade setups that we have today, let's go. Yeah, I woke up. Got some trade setups. All right, so let's take them one by one here. Um, never reached the central pivot for the pound again. Got my M2 a couple of times, actually. Uh, now we're breaching above. I want uh, this candle close. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This is one, this is two. Uh, give me uh, one more candle close, and uh, we'll, we'll call it. This one... Uh, here on the Aussie, so we got the pounds that's setting up pound US dollar. Aussie USD still needs to have a couple candle closes above. Uh, let's see here. This is going to be one, two. I, I'll take uh, the next candle close on the Aussie yen. I'll take it. So here in a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, let's see. CAD yen. I don't have. Uh, I actually need the breach. To happen, uh, I need to come back down and then breach. Uh, so nothing on the Cadian, unfortunately. Bitcoin going sideways, um, building up. It's a build up for a big move. Nothing on the Euro Yen yet. Kind of pulling right back in. Um, Euro USD possibly looking for a breakout. Do we have that set up right here? Okay, so um, Australian yen here really, really soon. We'll keep you updated. I have about another minute left. We'll have our first entry. All right, so I'm placing my first uh, entry right now for the Australian yen. Let's take a look at the Australian yen. I think uh, it's either going to be the M5 because we had such a small day yesterday. Yeah, so I'm thinking M5, but let's take a look. It might be an R3 kind of a day. Let's take a look. Okay. This to me, this to me looks like a M5. Yeah, M5. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, okay, so the last time I had like a real R3 was probably, so if that's an M5, this this right here would probably be an R3. Um, this, and he, this, is, this is an R3 right here. This is definitely an R3. Uh, this is borderline. This is an M5. This is uh, borderline M5. This is uh, this is borderline uh, R3. Yeah, this is an M. This is an M5. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, so yeah, that. Let's go back. So how many candle closes do I have? Yeah, one, two. Okay, so I need one more candle close here on the 
uh, euro US dollar pulling back under is the Australian US dollar uh, that's that sucks and so are the euros okay okay let's take a look at Bitcoin here on the pivots looks like we're uh, kind of doing a little bouncy bouncy off of the uh, daily pivots still not uh, mm, eh, still sideways but yeah kind of been finding support right on it are we leaving the station now we'll see still holding this as support right in the buy zone for the week we'll see how that holds up right in the buy zone here for the month on the on the uh, weekly chart still in the bullish posture okay it looks like we're about to get triggered in right now real and everything else is just kind of pulling right back in and kind of invalidating any buys that I was having set up on these other pairs especially the euros uh, okay well uh, looks like we're about to get triggered in okay I just want to take a look here at ethereum we reported on this uh, the other week in fact this is okay this is the four hour chart so we reported on this on the 25th was it 24th when we made our all-time high on this wick right here now we're pumping up right now so this is going to be our second highest high of all time this is our high right here so that's our high to beat uh, so we are um we're it looks like here let me uh, get out of this here real quick this is what i got I got a wedge, a uh, rising wedge, but in a fresh breakout like this, a rising wedge actually can be quite bullish. Um, how do I get here? I connected these highs right here. One, two, and well, you know, it might be tilted a little, maybe a little bit more like this. Um, this one here, I was able to get uh, like two wicks there, a wick here, uh, the bodies of the candles here, a wick here, a wick here, another wick, wick here. A wick right here, a wick right here, and bodies of the candles right there. So, um, yeah, that 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 line right there is pretty solid. Um, but yeah, so we are. Um, I was watching in here. Once I saw this happen, really, really close. I knew we were going to come right back up and test test these highs again. But we're getting really, really close. Uh, I mean, really, really close to uh, to a real breakout here for the Ethereum price. This is my Bitcoin dominance, okay? And uh, I've had these uh, support and resistance here. This is my four hour chart on the Bitcoin dominance. And um, you can see uh, how I, here, let me kind of fix this here real quick. And right here. And right here. Okay. And uh, these aren't perfect. Right here. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah. So uh, how did I get these as uh, support and resistance? Um, this is uh, I drew these from back in here. I had this high and then this high made this zone right in here um, and you can see how we you know have respect for this zone and it continued um, as soon as we had that pump in there I was like okay you know maybe we're gonna have a little bit more uh, once we had that pullback we're gonna have uh, some more alts uh, altcoins I don't know if you follow crypto market or not but um, we're gonna have more altcoin pump what's interesting to me is there's lots of downwards driving pressure onto this support level and I got it from this this candle wick right here 
um, all the way back to there's more data way back over here that you can't see on the chart but we formed this double bottom but it's just driving pressure down into the support and this is a real drive and that's just from the spike right here just going down hard into it so uh, that's uh, that's kind of why we're seeing these all coins pop right now is because of this right here this is expected to break at least down to this level right here and I probably should redraw this thing yeah okay I have it uh, it's not it's not exact uh, There we go. All right, this is my US dollar index. And um, we're kind of, uh, this is where we're at right now. This is the daily chart, okay? So these are the uh, daily candles. Um, and all this uh, strength that I've had since January, right here, you can kind of see how it bounced on support in January right at the new year and since then we've been kind of uh, having some dollar strength which is all my dollar pairs down um, so it's been it hasn't been a real hard pop but it's been a uh, it's been a kind of a down sideways and that's you know this is what I was expecting um, I saw this support right here on the uh, USD um, right at right on January 1st as soon as we spiked from there that's why i've been kind of calling for the dollar strength that is the seasonal play so it's kind of acting exactly the way it's supposed to i fully expect for this thing to kind of come right up into this zone right in here probably um you know maybe uh uh in march and then start driving back down again um, so this is what I expect. I expect a little bit more dollar strength and then and then um, after the Fed meeting or around the Fed meeting, maybe before the Fed meeting, um, hit this uh, zone right in here and then we're going to start having the dollar pairs shoot up after that, after we start driving down. All right, as we're talking right now, I am seeing a pop now in Bitcoin. Uh, this is early in the hour. Early in the hour, but look at this pop right when we're talking. And uh, I do suspect that we're, we're coming right into this uh, target right here, which is also the central pivot for the week. We'll keep an eye on that. Still no uh, trigger on my Australian yen. Pound US dollar here coming up in about the, oh man, I still need a couple closes because of this wick that came down that got me out. Or, or, um, un, or, unvalu okay, one, two, one more candle after this one. Okay, so we're getting closer on that. We're getting closer. Wow, look at these, look, look at the one minute chart over here, just gapping. Look at this on the Bitcoin price. And uh, this is, man, look at these buyers step in, gap, gap. And uh, coming right into the target zone right now. First layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer. Let's see those third and fourth layers here. Okay. First layer, second, third, and fourth. I'd say this is uh, the way that Bitcoin is stretching. It can it can blow it right through these guys right here. But yeah, this is uh, this is some serious buying right now with these just gap gap on the one minute chart. It's not like it's a break in in in, in time or anything like that. It's just man, that's just buying right there. Right at the central pivot now for the weekly. Right, so it looks like I just got triggered into the buy for the Australian yen. Uh, still waiting for three more minutes on the pound dollar. 
as long as we don't have uh, the, as long as we don't come right back into this box we'll be able to uh, have our buy signal on that everything else is just kind of pulled right back in so it looks like we're only going to have the uh, the Australian yen that we're in right now and then the uh, pound US dollar if this holds okay we're within one minute of the candle closing so let's go ahead and uh, move on over to the uh, full pivots charts for the pound and 1.9 is my spread go ahead and uh, do this here go that's a pretty good target it's a decent move yesterday so I know that's a correct target all right so we're just gonna keep it there Okay, so we're in on the pound. Let's check my prop firm. Okay, we're in on, yep, we're in on the pound. Uh, let's check Bitcoin. Bitcoin came right up into the take profit zone and kind of formed like these little head and shoulders on the one minute chart right at the central pivot uh, for the weekly. So let's keep an eye on that. This might just be like a channel or a consolidation on the one minute chart. But uh, yeah, this is our this is the take profit zone for the day for the bulls and this is the central pivot entering into the bearish sell zone so it's kind of interested to see <clears throat> sell zone for the bears b s z so we'll see how much uh... bullish strength that we have going into that zone okay let's go back on over 248 m so we have uh, look at the, these moves on the euro. So I never had that uh, confirmation, just kind of whoop. So hopefully that doesn't drag down my uh, my pound and my Aussie trades. Okay, I need to update something here with my euro. This is not a trade setup. Um, this is down to the S level right here, so I needed to come above uh, the M2. I didn't see these. Uh, these are small little lines, but uh, yeah, I need I need it for it to come above here, for it to be a trade setup. Yeah, we're good on everything else. It's uh, that's the this one. Okay, yeah, that one's correct. This one. Okay. Sometimes it takes a cup of coffee or two. Yeah, here uh, at 316 a.m., so um, two hours, 16 minutes into the London session, we're getting a, a big, big breakdown right now in the euro. It's pulling down the pound, dollar, um, and uh, yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, big breakdown right now. That's not good for our pound, dollar trade. Yep, here it goes. Massive, massive positions being placed. There goes the Euro Yen.
I'm taking a quick look here. I want to see what uh, the euro looks like here on the uh, full pivots. <clears throat> okay. Came right down. And so far, we're bouncing on the uh, weekly take profit. That's just the first layer of the weekly take profit. Um, I do expect... Well, you know, Forex can do anything. But uh, look at this right down here. I do expect a further move. Uh, this right here is a double layer of take profit. So, uh, so far we came down to the S1 and the weekly take profit. Um, but uh, yeah, this is uh, so far it's making lower highs and lower lows. Um, and um, yeah, it will, we'll probably trickle on down, do another leg down, maybe even tomorrow, hit a double layer. We'll see uh, how the uh, pound holds up on this one. Okay, good morning. It's uh, 9.04 a.m. I took a couple of stabs at it. So a couple of small stabs at the market and... Uh, got knocked out. But the only thing I have left is a possible CAD yen for tomorrow, and that's it. Um, let's go ahead and mark these guys off. Um, let's see here. Small stabs at the market didn't work out. The the uh, okay so the pound is number okay. Okay, let's take a look at Ethereum here. Ethereum's coming up to all-time highs. It's breaking all-time highs right now. Let's take a look at the dominance. There's Bitcoin dominance falling right there. That's mostly due to Ethereum. Taking a look here at Bitcoin. Still holding strong. Not a big rejection off the uh, weekly central pivot. And a um, little bit of a bull going on. Taking a quick look here while we are sidelined in the market. Watching this con uh, continuation fall. Here in the euro coming down to its double take profit zone.
Taking a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin pumping a little bit here. Coming right back into the uh, tick profit zone. Take a look at Euro here, a little bit more long term. Uh, let's see here. I'm just kind of looking at uh, some support and resistance zones. And uh, I have one right in here, all the way down to about here, is all support for the Euro. We're just about there right now, as far as that goes. But um, I do have. Uh, a target for the month. These are my month. This is my monthly target right down here. So, oh, oh, well, right down here is my target. Um, well, not my target, but that that's that's the bear's target. So, um, we're currently sitting at the support level right now for the month. Let's see what this looks like on the confluence charts. Okay, yeah. So, if we were to draw that same support level. And I took it from here to right down in here. That takes us right down to the um, to the monthly target right in here. So a little bit of a confluence there, which looks like it's going to be next week's um, target zone also. So you have the monthly and the weekly. It might even be the following weeks after that. So we might might do something like this and then a little bit further down um, or we can just reach it uh, and then start bouncing up. And keep an eye on that. Yeah, this is uh, next week's right here. This is the monthly. And um, the following week is probably going to be something more like right down in here. So yeah, that makes sense for the next couple of weeks for it to still be kind of bearish. Again, we have Bitcoin uh, pumping here at 12.55 p.m. So we're still a couple hours away from the New York close. And uh, I do have um, Ethereum hitting 1,500 for the first time. Check on uh, Bitcoin dominance, kind of bouncing off that support. Still drilling downwards, but uh, it, it is showing. Uh, oh, look at Bitcoin going up for the uh, next level of take profit here shortly. Uh, let's look at the uh, dollar index. Mer working its way up there. Working its way up to the resistance zone. Bitcoin coming right up to the second layer of take profit. Taking a look at uh, Bitcoin here on the uh, full pivots chart and I do have uh, it looks like it's breaking the R2 right now it's pumping straight up uh, my next target is going to be right up here at the M5 and uh, Bitcoin's been known just to blow right through these guys so then after that I have R3 all the way up at 37.50 we'll keep an eye on that and it's also pumping uh, Ethereum what happened here there we go yeah, Ethereum's already up at uh, 1525. Dominance, it's hovering. Dollar index. All right, here we go, uh, 2.30 p.m., so about half an hour away from the New York close. And I was really hoping to have a move down. What happened to my pen here? Is this thing not working now? Okay, uh, let's see here. It's not working. Let me pause this and restart it. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that um, we were going to get a uh, pullback to, you know, from, from this zone right down in here to enter in. But it uh, looks like we just kind of continue up. So I'm still going to have my pending order uh, right right down in here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's the, U that's the CAD yen. 
I just kept on going. This wasn't an entry um, right here just because um, I didn't have the breakout during the uh, New York or London session. It was a Asian session breakout and those very easily could have just gone back under. But uh, this next this next guy right here is definitely a, a tradable, definitely a tradable zone. Question is if we even come back there. Bitcoin still at its uh, take profit zone. I'm just kind of fiddling around there. Still got about half an hour till New York close. All right, so today wasn't uh, all too productive. Um, put a couple of feelers out there, and it just wasn't the right timing. Um, small little loss on the Australian yen and a loss on the pound dollar. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll take a look at uh, rebuilding positions again uh, tomorrow during the London if we have any setups. Um, I will be having a pending order uh, right here for the CAD yen. Um, and... Uh, that's all I have. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off now while we're at 31 minutes. And uh, I know it's kind of hard to watch these during drawdowns. Uh, everyone seems to like to watch the videos when we're, when we're crushing it. Uh, but drawdowns are just part of the game. So I'm going to keep making these videos. We'll see you in the next one.